And this is where one of the homeowners would have been sleeping last night if she hadn't gone out of town. And right above me is where one tree fell through the roof. You can see other holes in the ceiling where that were hit by another tree. It could have been a lot, lot worse, so yeah. we can fix a house. One family in Northeast Jackson is counting its blessings and picking up the pieces after a tree toppled onto their home, puncturing their roof Wednesday night. And literally, there were like limbs down to the bed um, and through the, through the closet, it, you know, there's like four or five holes. Kathy Miller tells us she was out of town when it happened. She says the text from her husband was enough to scare her until he sent these pictures of the damage. It was crazy. I'm just thankful that he was downstairs and I was out of town because it was literally right on the bed. Meteorologists estimate nearly four inches of rain has fallen in a month's time, saturating the ground and creating a bigger risk for falling trees. The Millers believe that's why it fell. It was totally uprooted from the ground, you know, and I've seen that a lot in, you know, different neighborhoods. So I guess just when the soil gets that soft and wet, that's what happens. Crews got the tree off the house Thursday afternoon, but the family says they're still having to switch bedrooms for now. The great part was, too, that they went ahead and put tarps, and thankfully it didn't rain nearly as much today as it said it was supposed to. But that's the sky right there and right through there. They say it could take months to repair multiple holes in their roof. The family's hoping to get most repairs finished before more rain heads this way. Live in Jackson, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>